our dispatch received a phone call for a subject uh, in the water over by the Oaklet Bridge. On their way there, they were advised the uh, updated call was they couldn't hear the subject anymore in the water. They were at the end of a uh, pier that was off of a uh, private residence, approximately 100, 150 yards out into the water, uh, searching the shoreline and in the water. When the father ended up calling over to Officer McKenzie and says, hey, he's over here, and then he was floating underneath the end of the pier. And Officer Scott and Officer McKenzie were able to pull the, uh, the victim out of the water and up onto the pier. The victim was unconscious and hypothermic at that point. Uh, the two officers started to undress him, drying him off, getting dry clothes on him, trying to resuscitate him. About that time is when I arrived and then advised them to go ahead and pick him up and carry him off the pier to the shoreline where the arriving medics uh, were. They retrieve him from the water, and as they retrieved him from the water, the dock that they're standing on collapsed. So the two go into the water. Officer Scott's able to maintain control of the victim, keep him afloat, keep his head above the water. Got everybody back up on the pier. But hey, we got to get this guy to the shoreline, get him some uh, help. So we're walking, we get down the pier a little way, a, section, a second section of the pier collapses. <laughs> Not a good view. At that point, the victim, myself, and Officer McKenzie go into the water. And it was just frustrating because uh, for the victim, I mean, he went in the water. He was in the water originally, and then this thing collapses. He ends up in the water two more times, but he ended up being okay. Uh, fortunately, he didn't drown, which I think would have happened if uh, he hadn't been located and pulled out of the water, obviously. I think that that goes to show how committed we are to the people that we serve. I think most people don't really realize that uh, ordinary people do extraordinary things.